you know, it's creating that culture. I call it a learning ecosystem or a learning organ. There's a bunch of different ways to describe it, but you know, we, we want to do this learning and, and Shane, what you said, you know, about like, how do you actually then bring those skills forward? So when we talk about ROE, it's one thing to put on formalized learning and it's say we had X number of people that registered, but we're not bringing it back to the organization in the right manner. And I think that's where L&D struggles a lot is how do you actually measure this? I know it's something all the time I'm looking at. How are we measuring that return? Because it's not about bums and seats, right? It's not about how many people registered. It's about what is the change in the organization? And I think one of the biggest gaps that I experience in, in everywhere that I've been is trying to allow um, people to actually leverage those skills and use those skills and bring them back to their team. So if you go to a formal course or you take a formal course, part of that should be that extending the finish line, so to speak, of where now you bring it back to your team if you're a leader or if you're an individual contributor. You share what you've learned and you are given the space to implement it, even if it goes sideways doesn't matter. Give it a go and develop it, right? And you start to create that reward, to be honest. I mean, if I go, I went and did a three-day course on strategy and it was fantastic. And I was like, I'm ready. I'm going to apply this. And then I got so darn busy. I didn't have a chance to do any of it. And so I didn't have time to intentionally take that and give it a go. And I just feel like that would shift learning as a whole if we rewarded people for bringing it back or we made it actually part of their development plan and part of leadership accountability to get that return on our investment that you are responsible for and encourage your teams to bring this back, apply it, learn from it, figure out what works. And we just, we are just so darn busy that we don't do it. Yeah. But moving that, extending that finish line or moving that line to three, six, nine months out from when you've taken that course could have a significant impact uh, by just shifting something as small as that.